Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I am reviewing another product from Good Made Better. Now I have uh, looked at a number of uh, these uh, pen wells that they produce and uh, I think this one may be my favourite. This is uh, the Craftsman that I'm, we're going to be looking at today um, and uh, I'm going to show it roughly talk about its kind of features and stuff like that and then I'm going to show a bunch of pens and see what we can get to work. So let's have a look at it. Here is the Craftman I was sent. Uh, this is the deluxe version um, which is the which adds the brass onto the bottom uh, and this is the Kingfisher blue finish. This isn't a stock color it is available as I'm filming this it is available on the website uh, but it is a beautiful uh, concrete finish and as it is concrete uh, the uh, as the uh, Dan there sort of uh, at Penwell uh, at Good Made Better uh, suggests um, you can do nice sort of smaller runs and this is one that he did here this really lovely kingfisher blue it's kind of like a light blue almost gray kind of color um, but I suppose when you see it in comparison to the gray background I have here you see the blue in it um, there's a range of other colors available, short runs like a very nice vibrant orange and some blues and other blues. Um, and then there's a couple of like nice dark, you know, granite kind of grays and a really interesting sort of light black, I guess you'd call it. Um, these are made in the USA, developed out of, um, you know, the original Penwell, which was the wooden one, and then uh, the Traveller, and now this. What... The beauty of this one is the fact that it doesn't require a like sticky pad on the bottom to stick onto the desk. There's weight in this. This weighs 550 grams, so it's got a lot of weight there. Um, and it's, it's very heavy on the desk, and therefore, like, it's not going to go anywhere under its own weight. And you'll be very surprised to find any pen that could tip this over with you know, just how much weight is in uh, this, particularly the deluxe version with the brass on the bottom. A couple of really simple features of this, other than the beautiful brass on the end, are these uh, sort of like anti-skid pads. So you can put that on a lot of different surfaces. It's not going to go anywhere, um, which is super, you know, you know, on a product like this, uh, sit it beautifully on a desk. It's a real presentation piece, as well as being a very functional piece of uh, office and home, you know, sort of work setup. If we look at the opening now, this has the standard um, insert in it, uh, but you can also get a little, you know, add-on with your uh, penwell, which includes two things. Firstly, the uh, extra large insert. Now these inserts are shaped on the inside, like you can see that there's it's kind of like conical, so that when the pen goes in, it kind of like grips uh, into there as it gets tighter. And then pushing against the outside of the cement here, it really gets in there very nicely to the point where you may even need this tool uh, to actually even remove the foam insert um, out of the penwell. And it's actually harder to do than you'd think, which is good. It means it's secure in there. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so once it is out, so basically the tool grips into the bottom and you pull it out. What I'm going to do today uh, is I'm going to test some pens in this one and then test a couple of pens in the extra large, some slightly bigger pens. Before I do that, however, um, I want to talk about uh, the price here of the uh, of the Craftsman Penwell. Uh, so this version, this deluxe Kingfisher version with the standard insert is 89 US dollars. You can also get just the extra large. So instead of the standard fit here, you have the extra large one and that costs 89. Or you can buy that and then this kit uh, and it goes to 95 US dollars. Now there is a standard version as opposed to this deluxe version and the standard version doesn't have the brass uh, on the bottom. Uh, and so that version, it starts from around the $59 mark. This isn't a huge item, but it does require a certain footprint on your desk. Uh, and if we look at the widest dimensions of, this is about 70 millimeters, 
and then this length is about 82 millimeters. So that's the kind of footprint you're going to require on the desk. Um, it doesn't exceed that up or down. It's not particularly tall. Um, and then, you know, obviously the pen out the front there. Um, so what I've been doing is I've had a pen in this for the last few days, as well as trying a couple of others. Um, and I, at my desk, and I've been using it sort of non-stop because uh, the kind of work I've been doing hasn't required long writing. It's just required a lot of sort of note-taking. And the pen I've been using is the 2021 version of the Parker 51, um, which is a screw cap. Um, and the beauty of this is that it works really well for screw cap or, you know, sort of good click cap, uh, you know, friction fit caps. Um, and so what you, what I've done is you put the pen in the hole there and instead of taking the entire pen out to uncap it you can leave it sitting in there unscrewed and then you just take it in and out and it works like a desk pen now the parker 51 uh, requires a good seal uh, to not dry out and i have left this pen overnight and for a couple of days without writing and never had an issue so that gravity seal in a way um is one of the beauty, you know, the beautiful features of this is that uh, it's very easy just to slide it in and then take it out when you need it for that quick uh, writing solution. So, as I said, we're going to try a couple of different pens in this today. So, as I said, I've had the Parker 51, which is a really good fit in there. I'm going to start with um, that, you know, well-known classic, the Lamy Safari, see if we can get that in there. And that will fit in the standard um, there. And... Like once again, you've got sort of a nice fit there. Um, let's see if, I don't think it's gonna uncap. It's, it's, it's Safari has a decently strong um, snap on it. So it's one of those, and not being attached to the desk, you will move it under that kind of weight. So it is one of these ones that is best uh, seated in and sort of staying in. Uh, another pen in that respect is the another Lamy, the Lamy 2000. Um, great fit. The Lamy 2000 has been a great fit across all of the pen wells. Um, and uh, once again, you know, leave it sitting in there. This one may need to be clicked in and then it's an easy one just to be able to put your, you know, simple, all I do is Put my finger against the pen wheel and use that as the leverage against it the cap stays in place it just stops the pen wheel from actually uh moving um and it's easy to do and it's quick and it's simple and it's there um a slimmer pen now is the uh muji fountain pen here and that goes in a lot further and once again same thing with that click uh, just able to take it in and out um if i want to click it in it takes a bit more effort um and then getting this out will be the fun part. Good. I'm actually now finding it hard to get the cap of the Muji out. I'm gonna to have to get some you know, pliers to actually get that out. So these rings do hold the caps very, very um, securely in there. That's really in there. Okay, so now we've done that, I wanna try a couple of uh, you know, sort of screwed top pens. One I'm looking at here is the Estabrook Camden. And that works beautifully. You can unscrew it still in the pen well, screw it back in with this little cushioned cap. It works well. So another one of these pens that would sit nicely and just easy draw. Now, this is the kind of profile, it's a bit, you know, out of my screen perhaps, um, that you end up getting. Um, so it's very similar to a standard desk pen in that way. Another one, we go the uh, Bennu here, Talisman. Very nice. Sits beautifully in the dock. As I said, just leave it there, sitting there, and away you go. Something a little bigger now, and we have the Visconti Homo sapiens. Now this has a unique size clip, um, and actually that works beautifully. I've not tried that in here up until this point, and that's a lovely fit, lovely mechanism. In fact, even using the hook, uh, hook and you know latch system that they use, it's very, very easy. Another big pen, the Leonardo uh, Memento Zero Grande uh, Puda. Beautiful, oh, that's lovely. Lovely fit in there. Um, and as I said, this is still the standard size um, insert there. Something that uh, is the same size as a Mont Blanc 149 is the Jinhao 159. 
um, and I think this is probably getting to the point where it's pushing the, the, the limits of the standard insert um, and that's feeling very, very comfortable in there and actually has a lovely profile as well, I think. And bigger again, the uh, Gamma pens, um, I think it's called like the Jumbo or the Gigantic or something like that, big pen, beautiful fit, nice because the weight of this is so nice once again that mechanism can be used you know screwed down uh but it you know will sit very nicely in the dock of the lid there uh, ready to be used as a desk pen and fitting nicely in that standard insert so now let's uh let's pull out the some of those big pens particularly like that gamma pen that that's going to push the boundaries of uh in terms of what you'll be using anyway there aren't many bigger pens than that sort of going around on the market so i'm going to take out this standard insert now put in the extra large insert and try a few pens in there and there we have it the standard insert is in um, and let's try a few of these pens. Let's start at the slim end again. I've got my pliers on hand. We've got the Muji uh, fountain pen here. That's just, that's not gonna fit in there. That's too slim. Um, obviously, you know, it is designed for bigger pens. We'll go the Lamy Safari with its unique clip. And actually that works. That works very well. Let's try something a bit bigger again with the Homo Sapiens. Very comfortable fit. Um, and actually with that brass, I was just thinking like the brass and the bronze and things, you know, and the, the concrete and the, you know, the lava material, that's a, a lovely combination there. I may have to do this myself. And that hook and latch system is working beautifully. And once again, it could just sit in the dock. And let's try that gamma again in here. Once again, very good fit, nice and solid into the dock. Um, and yeah. Perfectly, perfectly usable once again. So it does hold a range of pen sizes. Let's just, I'm actually going to try something not quite as slim as the Moody. We'll go back to the, uh, the Alami uh, 2000. Just holds comfortably enough, uh, but not enough to like be able to cap and uncap, unlike in the, uh, the standard insert. Now a pen, um, I haven't tried this. I'm sure this isn't going to fit. I have the Moonman Q1 here. This is a ridiculous pen. Um, like next to a Homo Sapiens, which is not a small pen, you just see it's got so much girth on it, but also like it's just a silly pocket pen. Um, I wanna see if this fits. You could actually get that to work. Like you can see it's sort of pushing the, the boundaries that the, the clip there is pushed again into the insert, but I don't know how I'll be able to make this visible, but I've lifted this off and it was holding, you know, for a decent few seconds. Not the sort of pen you would use in this, but in terms of the size, it's quite handy. Actually, let's test it with uh, that weight with um, a pen that actually really does fit into the uh, into it. So this is the cap from that Gamma pen. It's off the table, it's holding. So the grip, oh, the grip is great. So what do I like and what do I dislike about the Craftsman? Well, one thing I love uh, is the fact that you get the, that there are these two different sizes available. So just about any pen uh, is going to be able to be held in this. I remember testing one of the other ones and I used uh, my Apple Pencil and the Lilliput and things like that and they, they hold it in there quite nicely. Um, so I like the fact that that's, uh, doable. I like the fact that they've made this little tool um, to help you, you know, transfer one insert um, out, you know, to be able to put the other one in. It's a super handy tool uh, and does the job really beautifully. I love how easy it is to change those out. Um, for me, other things I, I love about this are the brass. I'm a big brass fan, so having the brass on the bottom there is beautiful, and that will patina really nicely. They suggest, you know, if you want to keep the brilliance of that using a, you know, a decent quality brass cleaner uh, regularly um, or semi-regularly. Uh, and then other things I really enjoy about it are the concrete and the fact that they've got this nice sort of um, blue-infused concrete, which is really pretty. Um, in terms of what I don't like, um, I think that 
there are certain pens that will not work in this system in terms of drying out, like Alami Safari um, uncapped. The cap, cap seal on the Alami Safari uh, isn't great at the best of times and will dry out over time. Um, and if in this situation where it's not actually like engaging in the cap, I'm not sure how long uh, the pen would stay moist enough to write. Um, and then of course, like you have to talk about the price um, at 89 US dollars for the standard version um, or for both inserts with the tool 95 US, even the standard without the brass at 15, from 59 US dollars. This is an item that you are spending a little bit of money on. So this would actually, if, if this suits your needs, of course you're gonna spend money to get what you need and it's a good quality product that absolutely does the job spectacularly. But also this would make a really, really great gift like a really solid gift for someone. If you've got someone who works at their desk, loves fountain pens, you know, all these kinds of things, something like the Craftsman Penwell would actually be a really great gift opportunity for them because it doesn't get attached to the desk. So any worries there are alleviated. It could be moved around desk to desk or, you know, if you wanted to carry this, you could carry this in your bag from home to work. Um, it's a lovely presentation piece on the desk. Um, you know, I can actually even see, you know, like on this uh, front face here, being a great place to put a little plaque or something if you wanted to, you know, sort of have something there. It, all those kinds of opportunities are really, really uh, wonderful. Um, but in terms of the actual item being a tool and what you need it for, it does the job and it does it beautifully and it does it in a very, very elegant way. So I hope you found this video about the uh, Craftsman, and this is the deluxe version in the Kingfisher Blue Penwell to be interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email, which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, like Good Made Better uh, did here with the Craftsman Penwell, and I thank them so much for their support of my channel and for providing this for review. Um, but if you would like to support the channel, uh, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, Enjoy your pens and all the accessories, and I'll talk to you soon.